channel or welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a massive plant-based milk comparison video. So I'm going to be going through my favorite plant-based milks and also showing you some different alternatives and then I'm gonna rate them based on three different categories. So the first category is their taste slash texture. So you probably will know if you've tried some different plant builds before that some of them, you know, are a bit more watery, some of them are more creamy, um, some of them have strong flavors, other ones are more neutral, and they also all mix differently with coffee. So you will find that some plant milks split when you put them with coffee, and that's due in part to the acidity of the coffee, but also the pH level of the milk itself and how that compares to the pH level of the coffee you are using. So we're gonna be comparing soy milk, oat milk, and almond milk. I will be showing you two different brands of each so you can see that there are differences between the different brands. And then I'm also gonna chuck in rice milk and coconut milk because although they're not my favorites, I did wanna talk about them a bit. So we've got five different types of milk that we are talking about today. And yes, I'm gonna rate them all based on their taste and texture with coffee as well as their environmentally friendliness. So um, if you don't know already, obviously all the plant milks are gonna be more environmentally friendly than having dairy milk because there's less CO2 emissions involved, um, a lower use of water as well um, with all of them. However, they do differ. So for example, almond milk uses quite a lot of water to produce almond, um, whereas soy milk uses quite a bit less. So we will go through that shortly. So that's the second category. And then the final category is nutrition. So obviously each of the different plant-based milks have a completely different nutritional profile. Some are higher in protein, some are higher in fat, some are higher in carbs. So we will go through all of that as well. So hopefully by the end of this video, we will have a clear winner, but if not, um, you'll get a good idea of the comparison between all of them and you'll be able to choose one that's right for you and one that you enjoy. So all of the brands that I've chosen here are ones that I actually do like the taste of. So this video will also give you a good idea of what brands you can try out, especially if you're in Australia, because obviously I'm in Australia and these are the brands that we have available to us. Um, but nevertheless, the nutrition side, the environmental side, um, and how it blends with coffee will be interesting to you wherever you live. So I hope you guys keep watching and enjoy this video. We're gonna get started with the taste aspect of it. And I'm gonna be taste testing each of the milks and rating them out of 10. Let's get started. All right, so first up, we're gonna get started with the soy milk. So I have two brands here. One of them is called Happy Soy Boy, and the other one is Bon Soy. So Bon Soy has been around for quite a long time, especially if you live in Australia, you've probably seen this at cafes, supermarkets for years now. It's one of the most popular plant-based milks out there on the market. Um, and I think people like it because it has a really creamy taste. So I'll taste it for you now but I do know what it tastes like. Yeah, it's really creamy. And to me, this one tastes the most similar to a dairy milk. Sometimes I've ordered um, a coffee with soy milk at a cafe and I literally have <laughs> thought it might be dairy milk and I've got up and asked them because it tastes so similar. Um, so that one is probably one of the best milks if you really want it to taste creamy like a full cream dairy milk. Um, I would rate this probably a nine out of 10 in terms of flavor. There is a slight kind of like a beany taste undertone to it, um, but you definitely get used to that after you have it for a while. Like I don't even really notice it anymore, but I do know some people think that Bon Soy has like a slight beany taste, but I'm gonna rate this one at nine out of 10 for taste. And I will show you shortly how it mixes with coffee, but it does mix quite well with coffee. I will note that for like every time I make a coffee, I always wait for a minute before I pour the milk in. Because if your water is at you know 100 degrees Celsius, it's very likely that whatever plant milk you use, it's gonna split and separate because it's just at such a high temperature um, that especially if the milk doesn't have added stabilizers, um, it will split. So I always leave it for about a minute with the coffee in the water before I add in my plant milks. But I'll show you that shortly. Firstly, we're just gonna go through the whole taste test of everything. So here I have Happy Soy Boy. Let me taste this one and compare it. Honestly, it tastes very, very similar. I would say 
Mm. I think I honestly like them both the same. I think I'd rate them both 9 out of 10. They're both very creamy. Um, they both taste really nice. I think this one's slightly sweeter. Um, yeah, so I just looked at the ingredients and this one has brown sugar in it, whereas this one has tapioca syrup. So this one probably has a little bit more sugar. Oh, okay, that's funny. So the Bonsoy actually has slightly more sugars in terms of grams. We'll go into the specifics of the nutrition shortly. Um, but yes, overall, I'm rating these a nine out of 10 each. This one, I would say is slightly thinner, like not quite as creamy as the Bonsoy, but I actually like them both equally. So they're both getting a nine out of 10 in terms of taste. And then we'll come back to them once we've tasted everything else and do all of the coffee trials. So on to oat milk. So for oat milk, I have two different brands here. I have Oatly, which is my absolute favorite. And make sure to get the Barista Edition because the Barista Edition works a lot better with coffee. Um, it has slightly more calories than the regular edition, but that's because it actually has more oats and it's thicker. So it just is a bit more caloric, but that means it tastes way better and it's definitely worth it um, because it mixes with coffee really, really well. And then this one is an organic oat milk and it's unsweetened. So something I will say is that if you're buying an unsweetened plant milk, it's usually more likely to split with coffee because the sugar in it kind of helps stabilize it a bit. And often, you know, if it has a bit of sugar, it also has some added stabilizers. Um, so for example, the oatly milk and its ingredients, it has 10% um, oats, then it has vegetable oil, um, acidity regulator, minerals, which is like calcium added in. Um, it also has salt and it has added vitamins of D2 and B12. So I'll go into more about the nutrition later. Um, but this one has 15% oats. So it is quite a lot of oats in there um, with some oil, some calcium and sea salt, but it doesn't have those added stabilizers that this one has in it. So I actually haven't tested this yet, but I can foresee that this one is gonna split and this one isn't. But let's just do the taste test first. So, this, oh yeah, you always have to shake it as well. So once you take the lid off, they always say to shake it because sometimes some stuff gets stuck at the bottom. So make sure you shake your bottles of plant milk. Alrighty, let's go in with this one. It's actually pretty good. This tastes a lot sweeter than the soy milks that we just tasted, and it tastes a little thinner. So it's not quite as thick and creamy, but it still actually is quite creamy, and it has, yeah, a slight sweetness to it, which is interesting because it doesn't actually have any added sugar in it whatsoever. This is the unsweetened one. So this is actually a really good unsweetened um, oat milk. I actually really enjoyed it. I've never had this one before, and I'm loving it. So, mm. I will say this does have like a slight oat flavor, but I personally love oats. If you've watched any of my What I Eat In A Day videos, I literally have oats for breakfast every morning, so I'm a big oat fan. And it does, yeah, have that kind of like cereal-y taste. So I think this would be amazing with like cereal or like put on top of your oats or in smoothies and stuff. This would be really good. I'm really curious to see how this goes with coffee. We'll try that soon. Um, but on to the Oatly. So Oatly, I literally was obsessed with it for I would say a good 12 months. Like I was having this every single day in my coffee um, because it is super, super creamy. Uh, but then uh, towards the end of last year, I went on a bit of like a health kick um, and I tried to like lean out a little bit because I gained quite a lot of weight through COVID. Um, and I got onto almond milk and almond milk is about half the calories of oat milk. Um, so that is something to note as well in terms of nutrition. Obviously oat milk is higher in carbs, so there's that, but it's so good. So let me taste this one. I'm rating this one. I'm actually gonna rate this a 8.5. Actually, no, I, I wanna rate it a nine out of 10 because actually that was really good. Yeah, this one gets a nine out of 10 as well. Let's try the Oatly. That gets a 10 out of 10. Mm. It's so, cre it's a lot creamier. Then this one, this one tasted slightly sweeter, which is weird because it's unsweetened. Um, but this one definitely tastes creamier. And that's probably mostly due to the fact that it has those um, stabilizers in there. So the acidity regulators, 
um, and the acidity regulators also mean that it's going to mix a lot better with coffee so we will see that shortly but yes this one's getting a 10 out of 10 for flavor it's honestly so creamy and it has like slightly less of a cereal like taste so if you're not super keen on it really tasting like oats i think this is the oat milk to go for it's really creamy really yummy and i know that it works really well with coffee already so i think that one's going to go really well on the coffee scale as well now onto our almond milks here we have two different brands of almond milk this one is inside out so this brand is a lot it has a lot more minimal ingredients so there's no um acidity regulators in there it does have a stabilizer so vegetable gum um, but other than that it's just activated almonds calcium phosphate and sea salt so it also doesn't have any oil which a lot of the other ones have added oil in there so you know if you're not keen on oil maybe try this one and then this barista australia's own almond milk it has a few different ingredients this one has water almonds sugar sunflower oil maltodextrin acidity regulators vegetable gums, sunflower, lect lectin, lectin, and salt. So obviously this one has quite a few more ingredients, um, but it does taste quite good. So let's give this one a try. The other brand of almond milk that I actually have more often, we just ran out of it, um, but it was the brand So Good. Their Barista Edition one is really, really nice. Um, I really like that, but this actually tastes really similar to that one. So I thought, we would just give this one a go today. So let's taste. Yeah, so I mean, the thing is that I like the taste of almond milk. I like this one in particular because it tastes more like roasted almonds. Then there's some almond milks out there that taste kind of like marzipan and I really don't like marzipan. So this one is good if you like the taste of roasted almonds. Um, I think it's really yummy and this one does go really well in coffee and it's quite thick and creamy as well because it has obviously those like extra ingredients in there which make it thicker. I think I'm going to rate that one an 8 out of 10 for flavour and now let's try the inside out one. So this has less ingredients with it, it's a bit more clean and minimal. Let's try that. Yeah, this one is quite watery. So it has less ingredients, but that means it's less creamy because it doesn't have those like stabilizers, acidity regulators in there. So this one's only gonna get like a six out of 10 for flavor for me. I don't mind it, but it's just very watery. So I think this would be totally fine if I was using it to make a smoothie. Um, so just like instead of water, if I was substituting water for this, that would be fine or like, you know, with some cereal or something like that, I wouldn't mind having this, but I definitely wouldn't buy this on a regular basis to have with my coffee because it just tastes quite watery. And I feel like when this mixes with coffee, it's gonna get a really low score. I can just foresee that because it does taste quite watery. Um, but obviously, you know, if you're looking for something that has less ingredients in it and is less processed, I know this is a really good brand, but in terms of taste, it's only getting a six out of 10 from me. All right, so now we have done our three main types of plant milk. So they're my three favorites, they're my three go-tos, but I wanted to try some kind of wild card ones. So here I have coconut milk and rice milk. So what's really interesting about rice milk is that it's naturally sweet. So because the rice actually has a lot of sugar in it, um, they don't have to add any sugar in and it's usually very sweet. So I haven't actually tried this brand before This is just the Woolworths Regular brand and they're also it's also certified organic. So that's good if you're into your organic stuff But let's give this a try. I'm just gonna finish off the rest of this almond um, milk Look, if I was being really strict, I'd probably be getting a fresh glass every time, but It's fine <laughs> All right, so this is the rice milk yeah, so this one's really sweet and it's a lot more thin. It doesn't really taste watery because you taste the sweetness, but it's definitely a lot thinner consistency. And if I check the ingredients, yeah, it doesn't have any thickeners in this. That would be why it has that thinner texture. It just has water, brown rice, oil, salt, and calcium carbonate. So obviously some added calcium in there. 
think in terms of flavor, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 because it does have a nice flavor to it. It's nice and sweet, um, which is good because it actually doesn't have any added sugar in there. But if you look at the amount of sugars, so they're naturally occurring sugars, but in the nutritional profile, it does have nine grams of sugar. So although it's not added sugar, it's still sugar when it breaks down in your body. So if you're sensitive to sugar, you know, maybe if you have diabetes or something like that, it might not be the best plant milk for you. Um, but in terms of taste, it's getting a seven out of 10. All right, now we are on to the last plant milk. It is coconut milk. So again, this one is an organic brand. So if you're into organic stuff, this one's pretty good. Um, and in terms of ingredients, this one is also very minimal. So it's just water, coconut milk, organic brown rice and salt. So interesting enough, this one has some brown rice in there and I would assume that is for the added sweetness. But let's taste this. Well, that has quite a nice taste actually. Yeah, I really like that one. So I don't usually buy this brand, but this has a really nice taste. I'm curious to see how it goes with coffee because I think it might split because again, it doesn't have any of those acidity regulators or any stabilizers in there, but this does taste really good. So I think I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Obviously this one does have quite a strong coconut flavor. So if you're not too keen on coconuts, I wouldn't go for this, but if you do like coconut, this is really good. I reckon this would go really well with like a hot chocolate because then you'd have like a bounty hot chocolate. I have had a coconut milk hot chocolate before at a cafe. It was so good. So I definitely would make this into a hot chocolate probably rather than a coffee. Um, but if you like coconut flavor, um, it probably would be okay in coffee. I'm just hoping that it doesn't split. So 8.5 out of 10 for that one. Now we're gonna go on to the coffee testing because for me, I have coffee every morning and I want my plant milk to actually go really well with my coffee and that's one of the massive deciding factors for me when I choose a plant-based milk. So I'm gonna go make some coffee and we're gonna try them all again. All right, so I have all my cups lined up here. And I'm gonna pour in the hot water for each one as we go because I want it to be as realistic as possible in terms of I want the water to be quite hot. So I've just put in half a teaspoon of coffee into each one because I can't drink cake coffees. And we're gonna start off with the soy milk. So bon soy first. Alrighty, so as you can see here, this did not split at all. And let's have a taste. Delicious, yes. The bonsoi is really nice and creamy when it's combined with the coffee. Obviously this is just instant coffee, so it's not the best tasting coffee, um, but the bonsoi does go really well with it. It's really nice and creamy. And honestly, in terms of like compatibility with milk, um, the only time when the bonsoi ever splits or goes gross is when the barista heats up the soy milk too high. So obviously when you're at home, like I don't heat up my milk, I just pour it straight into the hot water. But if you are frothing your milk yourself, I have seen this be overheated before. So when it gets up to a really, really high temperature, then it will kind of like split and curdle. Um, so I'm probably gonna rate this one nine out of 10 because for me at home, it never splits, but it's just sometimes when the barista heats it up too high, um, occasionally it can split. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 in terms of it's blending with coffee. And so when we average out the taste and the coffee compatibility, it is a nine out of 10. So I'm just writing this down so I don't forget. Um, and now we're gonna hop on over to the happy, happy soy boy soy milk. All right, so this one looks really good as well. No splitting at all and very tasty. Yeah, I think I definitely slightly prefer, yeah, I slightly prefer the taste of the bonsoi when it's mixed with the coffee. So I'm gonna give that one probably an eight out of 10, maybe 8.5 out of 10 for its mixing with coffee. So then because the taste from the beginning was also an out of 10, that averages out to 8.75 out of 10 for the happy, happy soy boy. So I'm just gonna write that in so I don't forget. Alrighty, so now we are hopping on over to our oat milks. So, <clears throat> 
coffee. I'm gonna start off with this one. So this is the one that I was a little bit concerned about whether it would split or not. So let's see. Okay, it hasn't split. That's good. Hmm. I don't think this one tastes quite as good when it's with coffee. It definitely tasted better on its own than mixed with coffee. So I think I rated it a nine out of 10 for taste, but I think I'm only gonna rate it a seven out of 10 for how it goes with coffee. So overall that is an eight out of 10 for the Pure Harvest Organic Oat Milk. I will say though that like this did really well to not split. So that is really good. But in terms of how it tastes when it's mixed with the coffee, I think, yeah, only about a seven out of 10 for this one. I think because it is slightly more watery, um, it's not super creamy, so it just makes the coffee taste a bit, yeah, just a, like a little bit too watery for my liking. So that's getting a 7 out of 10 for the coffee. So overall an 8 out of 10, which is still really good. Um, and I definitely want to have this more, but like with cereal or with a smoothie or something like that, because it does have a really nice flavor to it and I did really enjoy it, especially when it was on its own. All right, now on to Oatly. So I kind of already know that I love this with coffee because I literally had it for like a year. <laughs> and obviously it doesn't split. Um, it's got those regulators and stuff in there. So it's never really gonna split. Oh, it's so creamy. It goes so well. Yeah, that is my favorite so far for sure. So that's honestly getting a 10 out of 10. <laughs> with the coffee, so overall that is a 10 out of 10, which I kind of expected because yeah, I did have it like every day for a year. <laughs> so I know that it goes really well with coffee. And yeah, just to mention again, this is the barista edition. So I think it does have some added like regulators, yeah, the acidity regulators in there to make it work better with coffee. So it's actually specifically made to go with coffee. Um, so obviously that gets a good score. All right, now onto our almond milk. So we've got the Australia's Own and the Inside Out. I wanna try the Inside Out first because I reckon this will probably split. Yeah, so I can already see um, that it's starting to split. So it might be hard to see in the camera, but basically, like, I think it's the proteins that come apart in the almond. Um, so it's all gone a bit gross. I'll try to give you a close up. So it's kind of hard to see, but I think you can slightly see that there's all those little particles that are kind of coming apart. And if you leave this on the bench, say if I left it on the bench here for a few minutes, after a while it would really start to separate and you just get like this line of coffee water and then all these bits that are lying at the bottom. So yeah, I could already tell like this is only gonna get like a three for mixing with coffee. I'll taste it. Yeah, it tastes gross. I would not, I would not buy this to have with coffee. Like I just don't recommend buying this to have with coffee. I think it tastes okay. Like if you're making it into a smoothie and if you're really conscious um, about, you know, it being like really minimal ingredients and not having any additives, like obviously it's good for that, but no, that does not go well. Like I'm gonna leave this sitting here and I'll try to show you again at the end, but I know it's gonna look really gross. Um, so yeah, that one's getting a three for the mixing with coffee. So then in terms of its average, it only gets 4.5 out of 10 for its total average. So sorry to the Inside Out brand, but you're not doing very well so far, but we'll see how it goes later on um, with the nutrition side of things. All right, time for this barista almond milk. So, you can see here, it's not really splitting so much. There are some little chunks of almond, but that might just be because I didn't really shake it quite enough. And yeah, this tastes really good. Mm. I definitely really like the taste of this with coffee. I think it actually tastes better with coffee than it does on its own. So on its own, I rated it 8 out of 10. With coffee, I'm rating it a 9 out of 10. 
So overall that one gets an 8.5. So yeah, I actually have bought this one a couple of times um, and I think it's pretty similar to the So Good brand, the Barista Blend as well. They both go really well with coffee and again, that's because it has those added acidity regulators and stabilizers in there. All right, on to our two wild cards. So our coconut milk and our rice milk. So we'll get started with the rice milk. I think, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, honestly. Like it might split, it might not. We will see. All right, time for the rice milk. Okay, it hasn't split. Promising signs here. Let's try it. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that. It does taste quite watery and also very sweet. Um, I think it definitely tasted better on its own. So I think I rated it a seven on its own. I'm only gonna rate it maybe a five with coffee. So overall, that one is getting a six out of 10. Um, I just think, yeah, it's a bit too sweet for my liking and also it's a bit too watery for my liking, especially when it's mixed with coffee. All right, onto the final one. The Cocoa Quench Coconut Milk. Let's see. No splitting, which is good. It's pretty good. I think it's better than the rice milk. Um, but obviously, I still prefer like the almond and the oat and the soy in terms of creaminess. This isn't super creamy. Yeah, I think I'm going to rate that probably a 7 out of 10 in terms of flavor with coffee. It does have quite a good taste and I think it does... Like the flavor blends with the coffee quite well, but it is a bit kind of watery and not super creamy. So I'm gonna give that one a seven out of 10 in terms of its blending with coffee, but I did rate that a nine out of 10 before in terms of taste on its own. So overall it is getting an eight out of 10. All right, so in terms of our taste portion of this video, the winner by a whole point is the Oatly Oat Milk. I do think that this one tastes the best and it mixes the best with coffee. So our top three were the Oatly, the Bon Soy, the Happy Soy Boy, and then a close fourth with just like a quarter of a point less was the barista blend of the almond milk. So personally, what I have on a day-to-day -day basis is usually the almond milk, um, but that is partly due to the nutritional side of it as well, and we'll get into that shortly. Um, but what I wanna go on to now is the environmentally friendly portion. So I have done quite a bit of research, and obviously, um, you know, I haven't done extensive research in terms of, you know, I haven't looked at like peer-reviewed articles and all that stuff, but I have, read quite a few articles on the topic and I have some stats here. So in terms of being environmentally friendly, the top one is soy milk. So soy milk is pretty good because it doesn't use quite as much water to produce the beans. And also there is already like mass production of soy beans out there. So it's not like they have to completely, you know, make all this new crops for the soy milk. So there's already existing farms out there. Um, so there's not so much in terms of like deforestation um, and, you know, degrading of like natural habitats. So soy milk is pretty good in terms of being environmentally friendly. And from my research, I've rated it number one in terms of environmentally friendly. So that one will get a 10 out of 10 for that portion. Um, coming in a close second is oat milk. So again, oats are widely farmed around the world and they don't take too much water and um, land to farm. So they come in a close second. The one thing I would note is that a lot of the time they use quite a lot of pesticides in oat farming. So if you are sensitive to pesticides, um, sometimes oat might not be the best, but then go with something like this organic oat milk. So, you know, if you want to avoid pesticides, probably go for the organic one. Um, however, you know, this one does taste really good. And actually, I think, yeah, I don't think this is organic. No, this one is not organic, um, but it tastes really good and really enjoy that. So. Um, then number three is coconut milk. So coconut milk 
It doesn't take that much water to produce. Um, it's quite low water. However, coconuts grow in tropical areas and industrial production of coconut milk can actually disrupt the natural habitat that you know usually use the coconut trees as you know their living area and all that jazz. So in terms of you know impact on the natural world, this one does have a bit of an impact on that. So yeah, that one is coming in third, so I'm gonna rate that one an eight out of ten in terms of environmentally friendliness. And then finally at the bottom, we have almond milk and rice milk. So both almonds and rice take a lot of water to produce. So obviously, as I said at the beginning, all of these milks are better than having dairy milk. So if you're going to, you know, if you're deciding whether you should actually swap to a plant-based milk, for sure it is more environmentally friendly. Um, but I'm just being really nitpicky and kind of like putting them all into different levels. So these ones are only gonna get a seven out of 10 in terms of environmentally friendliness um, because they do take a lot of water to produce. And yeah, that is the main takeaway from that. All right, so now that I've been sitting and talking for a while, I wanted to show you how much this almond, the inside out almond milk is split. I'll give you another close up. As you can see here, this is all just watery coffee. And then down here you have all of the almond milk that has kind of got into little lumps and honestly to me that's just like I don't want that I don't want that in my milk of choice um, I want something more like the soy milk which blends really nicely all right so we are on to the last portion of this video thank you to everyone who is still watching um, because we are almost at the end the last thing I want to talk about is the nutritional aspect of it. So, starting off with our soy milk. Soy milk is the highest in protein. So if you want something that's more comparable to milk, soy milk is the one to go to. It has basically the same amount of protein as a regular cup of milk, which is awesome. It also has about the same amount of calories as a regular cup of full cream milk. So in terms of you know your nutritional intake, um, and also the flavor, soy milk is one of the best options out there because it's very similar in terms of taste and texture as well as in terms of the nutrition. So the one thing that a lot of people kind of worry about with soy milk is that it does have phytoestrogens in it. And there was one study, I think it was on rats, that was done quite a few years ago that showed that um, people can, you know, men in particular can, you know, become more high in estrogen if they're having phytoestrogens and all that jazz but that study was not done on humans um, and there's actually been subsequent studies done on humans and have actually shown the reverse um, and showed that the, the estrogens in it can actually be good and can be a protector against certain cancers so honestly I think don't stress about you know the phytoestrogens that are in soy maybe don't have soy like every meal of the day so I personally don't actually have soy at home very often. I usually opt for almond milk or oat milk because I do have a lot of tofu as well as edamame beans in my diet. So I just try to vary my sources of protein. So I don't want all my protein to be coming from soy beans. So that's why I kind of mix it up. But if you do want a high protein plant-based milk, this is the one to go for because you do get, let's see, per 100 mils, you get four grams of protein um, and per serve, so per, um, 200 mils you get 8.2 grams so you know if you're having you know a coffee a day you're getting in quite a bit of protein with this so if you're looking for high protein milk this is the one to go for it also has quite a lot of fiber in there which is obviously good for a healthy gut um, so these ones are really good in terms of nutrition I'm gonna rate them a 10 out of 10 in terms of nutrition because they do have that high amount of protein um, as long as they don't have too much added sugar they are quite low in sugar and they've got a moderate amount of carbs so overall quite healthy um, again you just want to look for one that isn't too high in added sugars um, so in terms of these two brands if I'm pitting them against each other um, the Bon Soy does have slightly more sugar than the Happy Soy Boy and the Bon Soy also has slightly more calories. Um, so if I was going to pick one of these, I'd probably go for, you know, I mean to be honest they're, they're very similar. Um, these two brands are both really good and they're pretty interchangeable so I'm actually going to give them both a 10 out of 10 in terms of their nutrition. Um, very similar nutritionally wise to full cream milk so it's a really good option and I highly recommend soy milk. So. 
onto our oat milks. So these have quite a different nutritional profile to the soy milks, and that's because obviously they're made from oats, and oats is a source of complex carbohydrates. So these are gonna be a lot higher in carbs and a lot lower in protein. So in terms of per 100 mils, they have between one and two grams of protein. So obviously that is quite low. Um, you're not getting much protein in there, but it is still a little bit. And you know, if you're having you know protein shakes during the day, or if you're having um, you know other sources of protein, like you really don't have to worry too much. But they are low in protein and they are a lot higher in carbohydrates. So. This one is 7.7 .7 grams of carbohydrates. This one is 6.6 .6 per 100 mils. Compared to over there, we only have only about five grams. Actually, the Happy Soy Bar only has 2.6 grams. So yeah, this is about double or more the amount of carbohydrates than the soy milks and obviously like a quarter or less of the amount of protein. So if you're looking for something higher in protein, definitely opt for the soy milk rather than the oat milk, but the oat milk tastes really good and it's a really nice change. So I really like the oat milk. The oat milk's also higher in fiber um, because it is you know, a carbohydrate source. So you've got that good fiber in there. In terms of the calories, not that that's like a big determining factor, um, but it is less calories or similar-ish calories to the soy milk. So it obviously depends on like the thickness of it. So this one's a bit thinner um, and it has about the same amount of calories as the Happy Soy Boy. And then this one has about the same amount of calories as the, Pons, as the Bon Soy. So this one has 58 calories and 59 calories per 100 grams. So yeah, in terms of calorie wise, they're basically the same. It's just low in protein, higher in carbs and a bit higher in fiber as well, but they're both pretty high in fiber. So in terms of the nutrition, um, I'm gonna rate this one an eight out of 10 because you know if you're looking for something higher in protein, um, the soy milk is definitely better. So this one is getting an eight out of 10. All right, let's jump over to our almond milks. So, we have these two here. I'm gonna actually rate these differently because this one has no additives. This one has a lot of additives, so that's gonna slightly decrease its rating. Um, but overall, almond milks in general are pretty low in calories. So if you're looking for something lower in calories, say for example, you know, if you're trying to lose a bit of weight, um, almond milk is really good for that because it does have lower calories and slightly higher protein than the oat milk because it's coming from a nut and nuts are higher in protein than oats. So in terms of protein per serving, this one has 2.5, this one has 2.5. Well, actually, interestingly, it has pretty similar protein to the oats, but it has a lot less carbs and it has a lot less calories. So, you know, in terms of protein per calorie amount, this has more protein than the oats, but in terms of protein per serve, it's about the same. So, yes, we have about 2.5 grams of protein per serve and only about one yeah, only about one gram of carbohydrates in this one. Then this one has six grams. Um, so obviously it depends on the brand that you're using. Um, overall, I would say I'd give almond milk about an eight out of 10 in terms of nutrition um, because it does have like a medium amount of protein. Um, it is lower in carbs, um, lower in calories because it has that like higher water content as well. Um, it does have vitamin E in it because of the almonds, which is really good. Um, but the one thing I actually haven't mentioned yet is that pretty much all of these milks that I bought are fortified with calcium. So a lot of people worry that if they switch to plant milks, they're not gonna be getting their calcium. But the thing is, pretty much every type of plant milk that you buy nowadays has added calcium carbonate. So I'm pretty sure this one Oh, okay, interesting. So this one doesn't have it, and this one does. Um, so this is actually gonna get an even lower rating. I think I'm only gonna rate this one maybe about a five out of 10 in terms of your nutrition. There are different brands of almond milk that do have the added calcium carbonate, um, but this one doesn't, and it has all those added processed things. So actually, this is only gonna get a five out of 10 in terms of the nutrition. This one's gonna get a seven out of 10 because it's a lot cleaner. So that's actually quite interesting. I didn't even realize that this one didn't have the added calcium in there, which is actually, you know, you need your calcium every day. So 
This one, unfortunately, is going a bit down in the rankings, which I'm a bit sad about because I really like this one in terms of the taste. But there is another brand called So Good Barista Almond um, Milk. I'll leave a photo of it up here um, and a link in the description box below if you want to check it out. But that one tastes really good. I think it tastes slightly better than this one. And it does have that added calcium carbonate in there. So that one would get a higher ranking. So definitely try that out if you're interested in almond milk that goes well with coffee. The So Good brand is really, really good. All right, so that is all of the main ones we've got. Just the wild cards to go in terms of the nutrition. So the rice milk is quite an interesting one because it is naturally sweetened. So obviously it doesn't have any of those added sugars in there. But as I mentioned before, it is still quite high in sugar. This one has the added calcium carbonate um, and it only actually has about four ingredients plus water. So it's just filtered water, organic brown rice, organic sunflower oil, mineral salt, which is the calcium carbonate, as well as sea salt. So this one has pretty low protein. Per 100 mils, it only has 0.6 grams of protein. So you're really not getting much protein here. Um, it's mostly carbohydrates. So 10 grams of carbs per 100 mil serve or 25.8 per 250 mil serve. So this one is very high in carbs, high in sugars, very low in protein. So I'm only going to give this one probably about a five out of 10 in terms of its nutrition. You're not getting the most nutrition out of it, but you're getting a nice sweet flavor. And if you're really into sweet things, um, it does obviously have that added calcium in there for maintaining your healthy bones. So that one is gonna get a five out of 10. And then finally, the coconut milk. So. This is interesting as well because coconuts are actually quite high in saturated fat, which we don't want to be having a heck of a lot of. Um, I still obviously have coconut. I make coconut milk curries all the time. So it's not that I um, don't have any coconut in my diet. I still think coconut's really good for you um, in moderation, but I probably wouldn't be drinking coconut milk every single day just because of that saturated fat. And also it does have quite a lot of sugar in there as well. So it's about four grams per hundred mils or 10 grams per 250 ml serving. And in terms of the protein, this one's actually even less than the rice milk. So only 0.5 grams of protein per 100 ml or 1.25 of protein per 250 ml serving. In terms of the calories, um, these both are quite low, pretty similar to almond milk. Um, and that's because they are a bit more watery. Um, so as we went through with the coffee testing before, the higher calorie ones are often the better tasting ones because they are thicker and they blend better with coffee. Um, so these are thinner, so they're lower in calories, um, but that also means they're lower in nutrients. Um, in terms of dietary fiber, this one has next to nothing, this one has next to nothing. So I think I'm gonna only give the coconut also a five out of 10. So I am going to crunch all the numbers and get back to you in a moment with the final results. All right, guys, I have crunched the numbers and we have a winner. So the winner, if you couldn't already tell, is Bon Soy. So this rated consistently the highest in terms of the taste as well as the environmentally friendly score and the nutrition score. So overall, this one got a 29 out of 30, which is very high. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty glad that that one won because it is definitely a good go-to for me. I don't have it all the time at home. And as I mentioned before, that is because I do have a lot of other soy products. So I try to kind of, um, you know, mix up the types of milks that I have at home. So um, what I would recommend after I, you know, tell you all the scores and everything is that you just try out some different types of plant-based milks and you try like find the one that you really enjoy because when it comes down to it, you know, you want to actually be enjoying the milk that you're having. Um, and yeah, I do think the soy milk is a really good option though, especially if you are new to trying out plant-based milks. It does have a very similar taste, texture, and also nutritional profile to regular milk. Um, but yeah, just make sure you get one that has the added calcium in there so you're getting that in your diet. So I'm gonna go through the rest of the rankings just so you guys know what they are. So what came in second is actually just the other soy milk. So the Happy Soy Boy Soy, soy Milk. So the Happy Happy Soy Boy Soy Milk. <laughs> Such a tongue twister. The Happy Happy Soy Boy Soy Milk. <laughs> that one came in second. Um, and in terms of number three, that was Oatly. Um, as I mentioned before, I love Oatly. I think the only reason why it didn't get the top score was because of like the nutritional side of it. Um, and it's not as environmentally friendly as the soy milk, but it's not bad at all. Um, 
and yeah that one came in third in fourth place we have the pure harvest oat milk so um, as you can see there's a bit of a trend here it goes soy and then oat um, and then number five was actually the cocoa quench coconut milk um, that one got a score of 21 out of 30 then we have the Australia's own almond milk which got a 20.5 out of 30 um, finally we have the other almond milk again like the reason why this is so low is because it like just made the coffee really, really gross and I didn't want to drink it at all. <laughs> so that's why it got um, 18.5 out of 30. Um, but as I mentioned before, there's pros and cons to all of these. So you might find that this one's your favorite. Um, if you don't drink coffee that much, it's not really going to be an issue for you. So you definitely do need to try these out yourself to determine which one's right for you. But the final uh, one is the rice milk. So this one only got 18 out of 30. Um, we went through all of it before, but yeah, basically it doesn't have the best nutritional profile. It's also quite watery, especially when you mix it with coffee. Um, and it's quite sweet. So obviously it depends on your own flavor preferences, your own nutritional preferences, what you're looking for in a plant-based milk but I hope this video has given you a bit of a clearer picture of the options that are out there um, and how they all kind of rank in terms of their nutritional profile, their environmental friendliness and also their taste and how they go with coffee. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and you took some value from it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what is your favorite plant-based milk down in the comment section. Oh yeah, also, if you're new here and you haven't already, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button down below. It honestly brightens my day every time I see a new subscriber and I'm so excited to have this community grow even further. It's literally only been about two months since I hit a thousand subscribers and we're already nearing 2000 subscribers. So it's really exciting. Thank you guys all so much for coming along on this journey with me. And yeah, I hope you guys are all safe and well and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.